Hello Groovy Girlies! It's been a hot minute since I have actually gone and filmed one of these videos. So basically today we're going to be reacting to what's been going on over on the old catwalks for this autumn. If you guys are marginally interested in what you'd like to wear for autumn, if you don't just want to be wearing shackets all autumn and winter, yes I'm looking at you, dirty girls put them in the bin now. I'm joking. You can wear whatever the hell you like. I really don't care. You don't care. I don't care. That's fine. Carry on with your life. But if you'd like to see what's trending for this autumn winter, then stick with me and we're going to basically run through what's going to be hip hop and happening this autumn winter. I have done this before last year, I think maybe for spring, summer, and I really enjoyed making them and I completely forgot about them, I think this year. I don't know, I want to get back into those fun videos because although they might not have performed as well, I just really enjoyed making them and I think I need to get back into that and we'll just get started. So basically, I'm just going to go onto YouTube, I'm going to screen record, hopefully, the screen and I'm going to react to it. I'm going to say if that's a yes thing for me or a no thing for me, uh, maybe have a little bit of a laugh at the catwalk for girlies that are walking along in very interesting outfits. If this isn't your sort of vibe, if you don't want to see the catwalks, if you just kind of want me to sit down and be like, this is what's happening, this is what's not, this is how I'm going to style it then just wait for that video instead. No normal people are going to be wearing this on the streets, right? Unless you're a high fashion girly. In that case, why are you following me? Let's just get straight into it. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do, subscribe if you're not already and make sure to like it so I understand that this is content that you enjoy. Now let me try and screen record my computer so you can see what's going on. I'm actually... Oh. I'm actually the biggest girl boss because I've just managed to sort out my OBS because it wasn't working and I've just followed a tutorial on YouTube and it's working now so actually I am a girl boss. Yes I am, I can do the minimum. Let's see what the girlies have got to say, Louis Vuitton. What have you got to say for yourself then? I enjoy the vibes so far, the vibes are immaculate. So here, we have here, we have here, let's just break it down for you here, we have a tie. I won't be wearing ties, I can tell you that for free. I will not suit ties because it's just not my thing. Wide leg trousers, 100%. I've already got a pair of black and white ones. I'm not sure if they still fit me, but I'm definitely going to be wearing a wide leg trouser, actually. I'm just gonna take some notes. <laughs> actually, gonna take some notes. Hang on, wide leg trouser. Yeah, no worries. Also, as you see here, I feel like this is something that probably occurs every single year, but you've got your biker your biker or your, your aeroplane girly uh, jacket there as well. And I won't be uh, driving any, any aeroplanes, I'm not about to become a pilot anytime soon, but I do enjoy those. Probably not one that's as oversized because I feel like, genuinely, I think if I wore something that was that oversized, I would look ridiculous. I'd need something that was a bit more fitted. We're gonna go aeroplane <laughs> girly jacket. I love the struts. They really walk with purpose and I love it. Like look at her, look, she's walking up the stairs. Like how can you even do that in a in like a model way? Next girly, what's she got to say? The wide leg. Another tie. Perhaps I might wear a tie. Already, three looks in, I'm considering wearing a tie. You got a trench coat here. I haven't, I haven't gotten rid of my trench coat. I've noticed as well, I have brown hair. I've noticed I have brown hair, so I'm hoping you do. A trench coat might actually be my favorite this year for a coat, not sure. But yeah, obviously, trench coat in autumn, fantastic. No worries. I like the different patchwork on it as well. So you've got like the cream and then it's like a, like gingham -y check. Very good. What's this girlie got to say? Who's wearing this coat? And another tie. Another, that's a fourth time. So these, you've got, oh hang on, there you go, look, you've got the frills as well, not frills, what they're called, um, like fringe. The fringes apparently are a thing as well now, they're coming back. Fringes in autumn. So if you've got a festival and you're wearing fringes, don't, don't chuck it in, don't chuck it away, don't chuck it into the wardrobe, keep it to hand. May well be something you intend to, to wear this autumn. Oh, oh. Did you see her? She's got her high, 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 I can't speak, I can't speak, maybe I should turn this off. She's got her high knee boots on with a little dress. I'll be getting my high knee boots out very soon, very, very soon. Here's the high knee, the high knee boots. I do enjoy those like olive -y boots, can you see? 
I think it looks so sick. Those, I love the colour of those boots. They look so sick. It looks like a music video. I'm really excited. Corsets. Look, corset top. I enjoy that. This is providing vibes. Look at this. I love that purple. That purple is stunning. Look at her go. Oversized blazers. Don't really wear oversized blazers. Feel like maybe I'll give it a go. Again, though, like at the beginning, I said not really sure about wearing oversized things on me, on myself. Maybe I'll give it a go. I'll test it for you and see how I feel. Because I feel like blazers anyway, I don't, well, I tend to wear, but not that much. It's kind of like if it's like a smart casual vibe, I'll wear them, but perhaps it will sway me. Won't we wearing a black one though? You can tell them they're gonna fuck off at that. I'll be wearing any other colour other than black. With the chains. Please no. Please no. It's not what I think it is, is it? Oi. Wide leg trousers. I saw these come back the other day when I was sat there watching them with the girls' bomber jackets can absolutely get fucked the only way you're getting me into a bomber jacket is if you knock me out you'd have to knock me out and put me in it and then i wake up and i'm in it and i physically like glue it to me and i wouldn't I, then i couldn't get it off like you can happily uh give this back to me if in a couple of weeks time i decide that i enjoy them all right that's fair enough i think that bomber jackets can stay with the lads you can keep those my bomber jackets will stay firmly in 2015 Thank you, goodbye. I love the stripes though. I've already got stripy wide leg trousers and I really hope they fit me. And this whole vibe just immaculate. Take the bomber jacket off, fine. Is that a pink trench coat? Girly, please. Is that a midi skirt as well? Just saying. Just saying, I bought five the other day for vintage, just saying. That is fucking stunning. That is fucking stunning. Look at that corset top. Oh, I love it. The corset top again, a midi skirt. Already been wearing those. Vinted, again, vinted. Love this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love this. Absolutely stunning, marvelous, sexy, stunning. Glorious, absolutely phenomenal, sexy seats. Look at the state of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The corset vibes as well, the corsets. Oh, a little trench moment with a little boot and a little pop here. I enjoy that. It's very, it's very sort of like, where's she off to? Wouldn't you like to know? She's got a meeting with someone. Wouldn't you like to know? Indeed. Is off, right? We've got it. Gloves. I think gloves came about last year, didn't they? Last winter. And I did take the piss a bit, I won't lie, but I do think actually a little glove moment might be quite cool. You know? I'm gonna pop it down. The only thing is trying to make an outfit out of it. I think they are very sort of more formal attire. I think Bridgerton helped bring those back, won't I? They probably didn't, alright, but I'm just gonna say they did. The red is giving Toxic by Britney Spears. Look at it, look at it. It's giving Britney Spears x Sia because of the hair as well. Look, Britney Spears, Sia, where are you? An average sized girly on the catwalk. Stunning. Versace, well done. Not Versace, actually Kate, look. Fair enough, we're three minutes in, but like, they're not showing a size zero model. Look at that. That is giving wealth. Yeah, stunning. That was a big, big yes. Yeah. yeah. Is that a low rise, I see? I know I said I liked them at the beginning of the year, but I've really gone off them again, I won't lie to you. Unless I'm wearing a jumper or something and you're not gonna see the rest of my, my stomach. I don't really give a shit. I love 
this particular shade of purple. I'm seeing it everywhere. Have we just seen it on the other one as well? What did we do? Did we give it to me in every colour, in everything, in every style? I, I'd do the whole outfit like this. This would be me. I see what you've done here. You've literally just heard me say that I enjoy purple and I hate bomber jackets. And you've just gone and done this to me. You still can't convince me, Versace. You can't convince me that these are coming back onto my wardrobe. Fuck off with them right now. <laughs> Why have Prada done this? Listen, not you getting a £2.50 top from Primark and whacking your Prada sticker on top. And I'm actually going to charge for that. I want to see how much you're going to charge for that, actually, right? Prada. Was it tank top? Sorry. I can't Google things to save my life. A ribbed knit jersey tank top. Actually, no, guess. Guess. So I'm not going to zoom in on the price. You have to guess. You've got a couple of seconds to guess how much a jersey tank top from Prada costs. Mm -hmm. £690. 600 Get fucked. You're a dickhead if you've bought this. You are a dickhead. <laughs> I have got something similar though. That midi skirt, I've got something similar. I've got one from Monkey. Wait, can you show you? I know, I've literally got it to hand her right. It was just over my, um, I was gonna wear it today, but I didn't in the end. I wore my orange one from Monkey. And it's like layered underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Like, there's a little black skirt underneath and then it goes mesh. And I absolutely love this. I'll link it down below for you. I think it is ASOS. I got it off of ASOS, um, but I'll see if it's on Monkey at the minute. But it's like a florally print and I really enjoy it. I'm wearing it with like a darker top on top. So like this one, I got this from Zara a little while ago, but it's just a little crop top. <laughs> I do love these trousers. They are quite cool. I do love these. Last year I had a pair that were like an olivey khaki sort of green. I'll whack them up on here somewhere. And I really, really love those. I forget, I don't really, I don't know what it is, but with strap tops, as soon as it comes into like autumn, I'm like, don't wear anything strap top. But I quite like these, like with a little bodysuit with that coloured trouser, I think would be really, really sick. Maybe with my hair colour as well, it'd be quite cool. Don't know. Look at her. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you see that strut again, please? Look at her go. Look, look. God, I fucking love it. A belted jacket. A jacket with a belt. So what, what's the message like project with this tinsel around the neck moment here that you have? I, I could appreciate the tank top on the skirt, but what, 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 what persuaded you to um, put a little bit of tinsel around this girlie's neck here? And as you can see in the background as well, you've got a girlie with a fat hood. <laughs> Fat hood. She's got a massive puffer jacket with the biggest hood I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks like a sleeping bag. To be fair, comfort is key. That's fair enough. Oh, so it's the mini skirt. Do enjoy. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I like the backless moment. And that might be a little bit of a weird thing to say. Not actually, no, because I feel like some people get quite like insecure about their backs, like back fat, and you've got like the little bits on the side, you know, like the little little back rolls, but who gives a shit? Get them out, no one gives a shit. I think a backless moment's really cool and sexy, actually, with like some trousers, with a skirt, or even like in dress form. I just think it's very, very, very nice, very gorgeous. I challenge you to wear something that's out of your comfort zone this autumn. I do. Even this week, wear something that you wouldn't normally wear. Wear a skirt, wear a backless top. Get your arms out, you know? I think it's just something quite quite fun we can both do together. All that glitters. This, this, this is just a given for autumn, winter. All the glitters, all of the glitter. Stunning, gorgeous, sexy, no problem. Maybe a little glove. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. Michael Kors. 
I didn't think Michael Kors was really like a brand that people saw anymore, really. Um, but I really, really love this from them. I think it's sick. So, look, look at the way she's walking. The way the dress is just glistening. Me and Chloe were saying that this this cart, this cart, this coat, Stella McCarthy, Stella McCarthy, looks exactly like the one from Monkey last year. So I think Stella McCarthy actually copied Monkey with this one. Obviously they didn't, all right. I'm all for massive ma robe life, yeah. I'm all for it, yeah. Robe life, I'm gonna do that. I love these though, like literally, you haven't then got to really think about the outfit underneath. But if you're just popping to Tesco's, I know it's a bit of a bit much to wear to Tesco's, but you just go run to Tesco's. You, you just <laughs> tie it up, out the door, you've got your trainers on or something. You haven't got to worry about it, nothing else. See the thigh high boots, is it, is it something I'm wearing? Knee high, yeah no problem, not sure about the thigh high. Look at them walking, look at her, look. Bella Halid, hello. You look stunning, radiant, fantastic. I love that, that blazer. I love it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Maybe I could be persuaded, maybe I could be persuaded into a thigh high boot if 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 it if it happened to work with the outfit yeah hey Gigi no worries hey girly she looks like she's on the way to school she looks like she's commuting the way she's holding her bag with her massive old boots on the tank top look at this who is wearing a coat like this it's five sizes too too big for her modern femininity what does this have to say then it looks like she's like trying to yank it back over but subtle, keep it there but subtly that might be how she's supposed to walk but it just looks really funny to me obviously you you need to see the dress i suppose you need to see the straps i do i do enjoy the glove the mesh the dresses the gloves massive bags mesh the boots mm. all right modern and the clips it's all very feminine is this like trying to pose the male gaze vibes is this kind of like girlies dressing feminine for them rather than going out and like trying to source the la the massive shoulders look the mesh oh my god and the suspenders the top is giving great gatsby and the bottom is giving horse riding you see what i mean look, look, look. top top is great gatsby vibes very very old schooly and then she's actually going horse riding without any trousers on and the belt what's the belt what's the belt for what's the belt for yeah i do do like that jacket actually i know it's super oversized but i do like that oh leather weather yeah i do like that with the green that green is really nice i've seen that a lot here at the minute i've already got a black trench like this i haven't got a belt with it it's just kind of like a normal one like that um i think i might have a belt for it i'm not sure if i could maybe get one actually i don't know if it would do up like that i think it's just i don't think it's that sort of vibe those boots sorry 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 the boots the boots the boots how is she walking in those, firstly, that quickly? This is giving euphoria. Why have they given her flats? Why have they given her flats? It's like a conscious decision that she made. I don't enjoy the flats. Look, 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 look. Florence and the Machine. Florence? That's like Florence and the Machine. Y2K fever. It's the cargo pants. Yeah, the pink, the pink. Get that away from me now. Get that away from me now. She looks like she's a present. What's with that weird little bow thing that looks like you buy them from Poundland and you stick them on top of your present? Now, sorry, they did you dirty there. Look at her. Yeah. Who's wearing a bikini? Who is wearing a bikini in autumn, winter? Who is doing it? especially in the UK. And who's wearing a horse as a necklace? Let me know if this was 
fun to watch if it wasn't that's too bad because i really enjoyed doing it um, i'm gonna sit talk to you about these trends show you some outfits that i enjoy show you some items i enjoy already at the minute next video after that we'll be pinning together we will make a board together and we will source some sexy outfit that will be matching these vibes awesome 22 has to offer us and then potentially i might style some depends how crazy you feel depends how crazy i feel if you guys did enjoy as i said smash like and subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what trend you're excited for won't lie to you, I am excited for the robe life, I'm excited for maxi skirts, midi skirts to still be around, I'm excited for the wide leg trouser, I think I might be wearing that with a little waistcoat, depends how cold it gets, and maybe an oversized blazer, I might try that, we'll see, but we'll talk through all of these trends um, in a separate video and I'll talk to you about how I would like style them, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll speak to you soon.